Bar humbug. Amid all of the confected noise around Marks and Spencer's newly released Christmas advert in which they appear to be burning a Palestinian flag, even though the advert was recorded in August, but for which they apologised anyway, there was a far greater scandal from this year's festive offering. The idea that Marks and Spencer were somehow knowingly burning a Palestinian flag is a joke, but the fact that the advert itself effectively cancels Christmas and all of its meaning is no laughing matter. Christmas is a time of joy, and all of the imagery associated with it, Christmas cards, party hats, mini Santas, is what Christmas is all about and something to be looked forward to. But Marks and Spencer, a shop for which I have huge affection, decided to torch all of that, quite literally, in this bonkers new ad. In a bizarre act of cultural vandalism, the poor old angel at the top of the tree is replaced with, wait for it, a loo roll. What an insult. Meanwhile, 90s pop supremo Sophie Ellis Bexter takes a blowtorch, first to a cake and then to some Christmas cards. The fire brigade will love that one. Meanwhile, one of the characters takes a board game, a staple of Christmas fun, picks it up and just chucks the pieces in the air, most of which land in a fish tank. Charming. In another strangely violent scene, one reveller gets onto the roof of the house, isn't that a bit dangerous, and throws a miniature Father Christmas doll into the air and smashes him into the sky with a roll of wrapping paper. Poor little chap. Another scene that's been cut out because of a mystifying and non-existent parallel with the Israel-Hamas conflict involves someone chucking a party hat into the fire, again quite hazardously, with bits of the burning hat falling off the fireplace. What the hell are these people on when they make these adverts? Well, I can guess and I don't think it's eggnog. How many kids will watch that fireplace scene and think of throwing something made of paper into the fire themselves, potentially ending in tragedy. The advert is strangely reckless, as is the message, taking a blowtorch to centuries of tradition, and not just mocking, but desecrating the iconography that surrounds our national celebration. Last but not least, another, another character in this ad takes a load of Christmas rubbish. You've got hats, wrapping paper, that kind of thing. Throws it into a special machine, like a garden shredder, chucks debris into the sky. So much for eco-friendly and making an almighty mess at the same time. Great messaging. And that's my problem with the advert, the message. That Christmas apparently is naff. It's old fashioned. It's somehow bad. That the treasured rituals passed down generations are something to be rejected, destroyed, vandalized and thrown away. Am I overreacting? Am I exaggerating? You tell me. But I will humbly point out that as many large companies have quietly tipexed out the word Christmas from their products in recent years, with the rather tedious and anodyne American alternative of happy holidays or season's greetings, so this advert literally removes the word Christmas at the end. That's right, folks, Marks and Spencer, who make a disproportionate amount of their money during the festive season, have cancelled the word Christmas. Make it make sense. It's worth noting that the part of the word that they removed is Christ from Christmas. Make of that what you will. But I'd love to see other religious festivals have their name adulterated in such a way. I won't hold my breath. Yes, folks, the final line in the advert and the slogan is love thismus, not thatmus. Except that Christmas, you know, the old Christmas, which will no doubt soon become a four letter word, is enjoyed by millions of people in this country, and not exclusively Christians. People of all backgrounds, races, colours, religions and denominations enjoy what is the national celebration of this country, but which is quietly being eroded by right-on corporations who, like so many things from our past, see it as a source of embarrassment. I honestly think they're gradually trying to cancel Christmas. Why else would they get rid of the word? But not on my watch. I don't know about you, but I'll be doing the cards. I'll be doing the mini Santas, the angel on the tree, the party hats, you name it. I'm sorry, but that advert is the biggest turkey you'll see this Christmas. Let's hope it's given a good stuffing. 
Marks and Spencers have gone Christmas crackers. Now, will this suit me? Is it my colour? Bloody perfect. Merry Christmas, one and all.